We say it every year, you'll hear it multiple times. Everybody wins when a leader gets better. Absolutely everyone. The stakes of leadership are sky high. You're working on the problems that are the hardest in society. You're working on what society has left behind. But if you bring business principles to them and you bring your values to them, we are seeing progress and that's why we keep at it. You see, emotional intelligence is the kind of skill that can take your game to the next level. It'll change the way you see yourself. It'll change the way you see everyone around you. And it will absolutely change the way you go about your work. We're all gonna go through this leadership journey and it's so fun. We're gonna move from I to we, and we're gonna move from me to service. I think this is a golden age in leadership. If you wanna operate your organization as a team, then the right people are humble, hungry, and smart people. Don't let popularity or cultural opinions determine your vision. Let your vision be determined by what the Creator has put inside of you. The two best friends of execution are simplicity and transparency. Great execution is about creating a pull. It's about creating a high stakes winnable game. When we communicate by inviting people to speak, we are responsible for giving everyone the opportunity. Significance is not about me, it's about others. Significance is all uphill, but there's a downhill habit that fights against significance, and that is selfishness. The one factor that drives all of this is real connection. If you can think the impossible, the invisible, the intangible, you would be shocked how you can reach the unfathomable. The love you're looking for is never something you can calculate. It's not something you can buy or earn or hustle for. Once you know who you are and who God is, there is no telling what kind of shalom, what kind of rightness, what kind of wholeness, what kind of peace we can bring to the earth. That means leadership establishes, here is where this organization is going to go. Leadership has the ability to close their eyes and dream about a place in the future. A leader who stops learning, stops leading. And if there's ever a time in the world that we live in today that leadership is needed, is now. What this world really needs is more pastors of businesses, pastors of construction crews and warehouse workers, pastors of branches in the military, leaders who will treasure what God treasures.